all right so this uh, question is from the current uh, practice paper that has been released by cbse and i will discuss the this question is based on lorentz force if you notice okay so there is a charge and it is plus q the mass it moves into a uniform electric and magnetic field in which of the following scenarios will the path of the charged particle be linear okay we will discuss what is the meaning of the word linear described by the velocity time graph so if you notice the velocity is constantly increasing so this is a case where it is accelerating this is something i can make out because you are having a slope right so let us think through this so assume you have a scenario where a positive particle is is entering a situation like this okay so let's say this is your situation and the these lines of forces which you see as a distance these are the electric field lines okay and you your charge is maybe going towards right it is plus q and the magnetic field could be perpendicular or maybe we don't know that right and that is what we need to decide how is the magnetic field placed with e you know what is the relationship between e and b direction are they parallel are they perpendicular what exactly is happening or what exactly is happening you know what's the deal here so let's think through okay so e is perpendicular to b okay and what will happen so assume this is your electric field and the electric field is assume the velocity is in the rightward direction and the magnetic field is uh, say inwards okay just for the sake of it so magnetic field is inward it's a uniform magnetic field and what you see is acceleration which is linear okay it says it's a linear acceleration remember there is there is no curve being observed the curve only comes from bqv because bqv the force is perpendicular to velocity therefore it becomes centripetal force right i'm just telling you since i saw the word linear i said i don't see any curve in this and the curve can only come if you are you know you are uh, moving inside the uh, magnetic field with a perpendicular velocity right so b and v are b is perpendicular to v and therefore force comes out to be perpendicular to v right which is the way we solve the magnetic field on a charge okay b so which is written as uh, q cross product of right this this particular thing creates curve actually the curve is a circular motion let's call that okay this is what we learnt so this will create a circular motion which i have written now i am thinking why the magnetic field is there and electric field is there yet the body is showing a linear you know increase in velocity which is a, a fixed acceleration what could happen so if e is perpendicular to b uh, you will have a okay so let's say okay i'm not analyzing this we will analyze it later let's say e is parallel to b okay and particle is initially at rest if the particle is at rest the formula of bqv fails right you, you have no velocity if you don't have a velocity you can't have a circular motion but in the question if you notice the initial velocity does exist second e and b are parallel and the particle has an initial velocity along the electric field this is very important right i know this is a situation of lorentz force okay where the net force is given by q v cross b plus q e so i knew about this uh, where b and e are perpendicular to each other my focus is currently on parallel because it draws more attention and makes more sense to me 
if e is parallel to b but and the particle has an initial velocity along the electric field so if this was a electric field and the velocity is along the direction of electric field both are parallel right and the body will accelerate it's a positive charge so it is bound to accelerate so this is a positive charge it will move from a position of higher potential to lower potential which means the direction of electric field is like this okay so this is your positive charge and you will accelerate and e and b are parallel so which means the magnetic field is also in this direction now we know if the magnetic field is parallel to the velocity only then the curve arises but in our case magnetic field and velocity are parallel to each other right e and b are parallel the velocity if you notice e is parallel to v and e is also parallel to b that means v is parallel to b which means no circular motion will happen here okay if you if you have velocity and if you notice this question okay e is perpendicular to b is perpendicular to v this is a typical scenario right where b and v are perpendicular b and v are perpendicular and therefore result in a circular motion because the force will be perpendicular to velocity forcing the particle to move in a curve so first choice i did not consider much because i knew it is a case of circular motion the second one i ignored because if it is at rest the magnetic field cannot exist on this right which is the this part of the lorentz force and if i notice e parallel to b and initial velocity so then this knowledge of kinematics of class 11th helped me because i could also make out that this is an accelerating charge because there is a slope if i had not understood class 11th properly i will find it very difficult to do this question of class 12th right therefore it is important to build a base of class 11th and have clarity around kinematics newton's law and all the topics you learn in class 11 now let's see e is perpendicular to b and the initial velocity this is i think identical to a because e is perpendicular to b and b a and and e and v are per, you know along the same direction then b becomes perpendicular to v which is a so this is some sort of a right a and d are common the only good choice which now is remaining is the choice of c this is a choice you need to choose actually right so it's not a choice it's a answer but i hope this is making sense to you cbsc now is do doing a lot of competency based questions if you go to my channel you will find most of the questions are competency based i don't do run of the mill you know derivations i think i do explain derivations till the point the student has absorbed them but after that i emphasize a lot on numerical practice which is again doing the theory 100 times at least it gives you an opportunity to understand your weakness okay so i hope you like this numerical and the way i solved it and the fact that class 11th is very important to do uh, class 12th so make a strong foundation if you're a class 11 student if you're a class 12 student please also start revising class 11th alongside so thank you very much for your time and i will insert some links in this video so that you can go back and revise the concept of lorentz force and stuff like that vector product knowledge is also very important a circular motion also got used in this question again a very important topic so don't don't take class 11th uh, lightly it's a very important class if you're in class 12 please revise it very detailed Uh, to be able to solve uh, 12 standard questions successfully thank you very much and wait for my next video